Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar. We will be showing you how to make the most out of Luminate and also running you through what LG did well and what uh, LG did not so well, uh, both through survey data and also through some market analytics that uh, Summies has exclusive uh, access to. So people are streaming in the door. I'll say hello to my counterpart, uh, Peter. Nice to see you there. So uh, if anybody has questions for me along the way, uh, Peter, if you can be uh, just moderate, having a look at the, the chat thread, um, that's a good place to get your questions answered instantly if they're able to be done just via message. Um, however, if you would like me to run through something uh, later on in the presentation, then I encourage you to put into the Q and A section because I'll come back to look at that in more detail as well. Uh, and if you have any um questions otherwise then uh, we can Peter perhaps you can uh, put your booking link in there as well I'll get you to do that regularly throughout the presentation just so that if people want to get a run through personalized of uh, what's involved with the, the platform or any of the upgrades uh, or, or add-ons that are available then of course you can do that uh, with Peter so I will uh, make a start into how to make the most out of Luminate. Let me share my screen. Here we go. There we go. All right, so uh, most of you, uh, I'm assuming, are already SunWiz Insights clients or Market View, and you should have received an invitation in, the, uh, in your email to access the platform. I'll run you through how to do that. But before I get, get started, I just wanted to bring your awareness that what some of the stuff that you'll see on the screen may be different to what your experience is, depending upon what services and uh, add-ons you've got enabled on your account. So if that's the case, then uh, you'll understand why. If you think anything's missing or you want to have a conversation with us or you're having trouble in any way, then please reach out. Easiest uh, place to do that is data at sunwiz.com.au. And it's worth noting that uh, the platform is very new um, and you'll see most recent articles up there soon. Uh, but what will also be happening as months go by is you'll see that you can access the back issues here as well. Firstly, let's get to that question of access. So uh, firstly, you should have already received an email uh, probably from my email address saying now activated your new Luminate Market Intelligence Source uh, service from SunWiz. Uh, if you haven't received that, uh, then uh, there's possible possible that we haven't uh, we might have overlooked you, or it's possible that uh, somebody in your organisation has said let's just cut back our number of users uh, to the bare minimum. Um, as we do have we have we're changing how our fees are structured to have a small per user component to those fees. Uh, anyway check your email for that, uh, but also just watch and follow along. Um, at any stage, if uh, you have uh, got confusion about how to access the platform, the first place to go to is that rocket.sunwiz.com.au and there is a login link there. So that will be the first most obvious place. Let's assume that you haven't uh, already uh, accessed it. Um, oh, sorry, pardon me. Um, if you've already accessed it and set up a username and password, uh, word when you click that login link you'll be clicked uh, taken through to this login screen that you can see on the screen there and it says login to grant someone access uh, rocket access to your account into your username and password however if you've gotten to that place and you go oh geez i don't think i've set a username and password or i forgot my password uh, or i'm not sure if i've been set up or not uh, click the forgot password link down there in the bottom and submit your email address and then uh, click submit. You'll be given a password reset link that will, you know, when you click, you'll be able to reset your password and then you'll be taken through a login process. These instructions are all located here on the Rocket platform itself. So let me just come to that. Where are we? Sorry. I love it when Zoom gets in your way. There we go. Okay, so how to access this platform. So even if you're lo not logged in, you're at rocket.sunwiz.com.au, you click on support, you'll see uh, these articles, or at least a subset of these articles, and one of those will be how to access the platform. It runs you through all the uh, information that we emailed out to you. Um, let's assume, however, that you have uh, gone through the password setup and you're just really trying to get into the system. Um, there is this link here. If you bookmark at that link, then 
that's where you have to enter your username and password each time uh, I've got it booked, bookmarked here. So it just takes me through to where I need to be. All right, uh, so as I said, the instructions are located at that support. Um, there will be, um, when you first do this, a little question that says, authorize SunRocket access to your account. All that's happening at that point is that our billing system, which controls whether you've got access to it and making sure your invoices are paid, et cetera, uh, is linked to the auth uh, authorization provisioning system of the actual service itself. And so that's the link it's just trying to um, make in its own technical terms between our billing system and the uh, data system itself. So make sure you authorize it, you'll need to access it. There's that link uh, there on your screen. Uh, Peter, uh, actually I'll look at what I'll do. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Uh, we had a little technical issue. I lost my Wi-Fi. Goodness knows why. I did hear a siren uh, happening. As well. I hope it wasn't anything related. Let's keep going. Um, where I was, was transitioning from the old insights. So you'll probably be used to this old format and be wondering, I want to see this chart. I really want to, like, I've, I know that's the key chart that I want to see, um, but I can't well, can you just help me get there fast? There is a support article here um, that is how to it relate, shows you the old format of insights and with the links and the explanation of how to get there. And so when you find that support, uh, you will go to, when it comes on the screen, uh, it's from insights to illuminate your transition guide. And you'll see there here, uh, that that has your old kind of PDF style of PowerPoint from Insights and each of these charts will have the uh, link to where that, that kind of chart is, uh, as well as the menu system for how to get there. Okay, registers volume story within the topics slash volume menu. So that's a quick, easy way for you to go and say, oh, well, how do I find that? Also within that support area, there is the um, additional content which can help you uh, with your transition as well. Uh, good helpful navigation. One of the questions we have is where are the data um, tables and uh, please post into the um, and what one of the key questions is where are the data tables topics data tables that's the one place that you'll find all of our data tables in one place um, that you have access to and that's where you can go through and click here many of these you'll still find are in excel format and so after clicking on the heading then you click basically on the excel table to download it pretty simple but if that is a topic that is relevant uh, within each of these uh, major topic categories you'll often find those data tables there as well so next, familiarizing yourself with the content locations. So I'm gonna run through uh, this menu system and the key stories within each. So firstly, commentary is a useful one. If you go to market synopsis uh, and note that you can click on any of these links at the top to get the holistic view. Um, but if you click on market synopsis, then this is where you'll see videos of people running through, perhaps me, uh, the most interesting and salient points from the most recent market update. Uh, so that can be your quick you know, five minute uh, market refresh. And the useful thing about that is I can go into more explanatory detail uh, or start interacting with charts on the screen for you guys. Uh, and so it's a good place to go and have a look. Uh, there's also special features here. And uh, for example, the special features that used to be at the back of Insights, uh, start getting populated here and we can add more, we can make them interactive, all sorts of things. So for example, you'll see the market forecast there the, um, from Green Energy Market, uh, AEMO, et cetera. 
some older forecasts as well. Bloomberg, a um, whole heap of content. Uh, the most recent one we shoved out was um, the inverter loyalty metrics. And again, so you can go through and you go, oh, where's that forecast? I haven't, show, I haven't got you up to there, but there is a search feature there. Type in forecast and you'll get given access to all of those articles that are relevant, um, for example. So that's gonna be nice when it comes time to you doing your uh, annual analysis. Um, and industry news is going to be located here. Next, we'll run through the topics. Firstly, uh, volumes. This is where you'll see your you know, volumes of PV, uh, particularly at a national and state level. Uh, you'll see some back issues there as well. You'll also get to see one of these new upgrades we've got is a weekly volume, and that will show you, well, it's not the end of the month yet, but I'm really curious to know um, what's happening progressively halfway through the month, that's where you can go and find out how this week compares to similar weeks uh, in previous years. Uh, there is also the PV, the tally, you recognize that chart. Um, and if you have access, it, access to it, that's where lead volume is as well. Uh, let me open that up for a second, just to just give you a run through and a sample of flavor of the kind of data that's in here. One thing I'll note is that there's also installation month data. So typically everything has gone off the STC registration date. I'll show you that in a moment. This data should be coming into your inboxes or if it's not already, but February was up uh, on where it was uh, so in January and but not up on the same point last year. But as you'll see, February was uh, just higher than it was in February 2020. Still, we're starting the year 25% uh, behind in the first two months compared to the last time, uh, same time in the previous year. Every, every state's doing well. Uh, and then if you look at the number of installations, then you can see we're actually below 2020, just with larger systems. We can also then add uh, with lots of extra data into here for you to um, pull into your reports, whatever you want to see on the uh, number of annual installations, et cetera, and cumulative tallies. I've shown you some uh, data on installation month in this uh, these charts as well. This is a different data source that does lag. We do try to correct for that lag, but it's not always a perfect correction. Depends a lot on the CER data release uh, timing. So that can show you then installation month in a way that trues up to what it actually gets to um, a national state and number of systems level. Okay, coming to the top again. Next, I can go and deep dive into individual states. If that's of interest, if you want to go and have a look at particular markets or market segments, um, that may be relevant, more relevant to your business. Worth noting, wording, sorry, noting while that loads that there's so many articles in this um, topic that they flow onto other pages. So if you want to go and have a look at uh, older or their articles or articles beyond the first page, that's where you would do it. Um, but so for example, let's come in here and have a look at uh, the state volume sizes and segments. This is where you can go and take a lot of the information we've got at a national level and look at it particularly for one state. This will show you individual uh, volumes uh, on a monthly basis same charts that you would have seen in insights, except on being able to not have to focus on just one page. Uh, weekly installations, the system size distribution for that state, how that distribution is evolving, um, those charts that you've seen at the national level, you can now go and inspect at the um, uh, state level as well, and also have a look for commercial there too. Um, Okay, next topic there we have is sizes and segments. So it's that information you've seen uh, at a national level uh, is one aspect to it. And the other aspect to it is the average system sizes um, that's useful. Uh, and I won't run through that, but that's where it is. Now, manufacturers is a, a topic that there's <clears throat> we've provided extra content here within your Luminate subscription. So if you are on our base essentials product, then you will have the uh, top three brands of panels and inverters in each month, in each recent month, also broken down by um, size, range and state. Now that is for the most recent month, which is useful information. If you want to dive into that in more detail, then you need the market view upgrade and that gets you access to a whole heap of information. Some of which we'll show you later when we run through the uh, LG um, analysis to see what they did well and what they didn't do so well. But in this, as an example, you get to see market share for inverters at you know, range of different pace uh, for the last month, but also for the last uh, three months and then on a quarterly basis, how 
that share is changing over time as a, in a class range. Uh, you get to see the annual breakdown, how it varies by segment, how it varies by state, whole range of different information. And then for people with this subscription, you can actually go and look at some other information uh, that I'll come to and show you with the market view uh, for LG. Retailers is where you'll find, if you're on the base subscription, you'll find the top, I forget if it's a top 10 nationally and top five in each state in the essential story. And then if you have the upgrade, what was Insights Premium or Insights Custom ID, then here's where you'll see the top uh, 20, top 25, top 50, et cetera, um, as well as you get a data table separately for every um, company. And so therefore you can go and have a look at, again, some new um, improved charts there who are the top five or the next uh, 45 companies, how their monthly change in volume is going, all that sort of thing. These charts come alive with some interactivity, which I'll show you um, in a moment, uh, but that's where that, those stories are focused. Prices is also something which we have boosted the amount of information that we're collecting and displaying. Um, and so you can see the average prices uh, at a national uh, and state basis, but then you can also go and deep dive in at a product basis and size basis at the local state level. Um, that's where that is, I won't go into detail. Storage is another, uh, aspect to your Luminate subscription, which you didn't get previously with Insights, but we provide a high level uh, storage system installation story, as well as an upgrade here. Uh, I'll run you through the upgrade just quickly. Um, some of this is based on DER register data. Um, that's a useful for providing trends and changes that are happening and seen out there in the market, though it's got some inaccuracies, such as when South Australia Power Networks go and registers a lot of installations for a previous quarter um, in mid-2021. That said, um, useful at the trend level uh, and also useful for seeing average system sizes and batteries. Uh, we are collecting price on batteries from a number of different providers as well, how those prices distribution is changing, how it varies by state, how it varies by capacity range, and then even at the manufacturer level, how it can vary what the market share is according to, I think this is dominated by uh, open solar usage, um, and worth noting that our it's not quite as accurate, therefore, as our market view, uh, which draws information from STC aggregators uh, and uh, finance providers and a couple, a few different software platforms, but still useful information here um, and the ability to go and have a look at where these installations are happening um, at a range of different uh, ways as well. So that's storage. Regions and postcodes allows you to go and find the top uh, postcodes to target or top regions, for example, the top places to put your, uh, your do, 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 do. sorry, I've just seen Kathleen. Thank you, Kathleen. Good message there. I need to replace your logo. Um, so postcodes is where you can analyze, depending on your subscription level, the number of installations that are happening at a regional uh, level. So for example, the first two digits of the postcode, so 24XX at a, a sub-regional 243X or at a postcode level. And that can help you identify uh, which are the uh, top places to put your warehouse or focus your marketing on uh, or understand even if you've got that level of granularity where your installations are happening and what percentage you have of those places. So this gives you, for example, these are the top postcodes nationally, top postcodes by state, um, how that's changed in the last 12 months, um, range of different characteristics there. We even break it down by the system size ranges that are going in. So you can see the top 10 commercial postcodes by state, for example. Um, now, again, with some interactivity, we actually unleash a dashboard for you that you can go and interact and do your own filtering on. And we will come to that in a moment, that interactivity. There is a commercial upgrade. This won't be included in your base um, subscription. It's designed for commercial retailers, uh, for those that are particularly interested in the commercial market. So it will tell you which are the best locations to target for commercial solar, uh, which are the best uh, products to use for those um, in terms of uh, market share. It'll also tell you what the trends are, of course, uh, in the, those system sizes, sorry, in that class range, 
the database of 100 kilowatt systems. So if you want to go in and understand who's buying, who's selling, who's doing well, then that's a very useful resource. We also have a target industries and sectors. So this will help you identify which ANZIC codes and subcodes are the best uh, to target for commercial sales. And when you combine the best, tar best target locations with the best target industries uh, and enter that into our business directory, then all of a sudden you get the ability to go and find which businesses to approach, even their contact details are provided there. Uh, again, interactivity provided there. Utility scale, solar and storage and data tables. Other thing worth noting is that we can provide you with custom content. So if there's something that you want uh, and want to see on a regular basis and have it updated here, that's where you'll find it. Uh, a lot of those upgrades I've already run through. If you want a recommendation of what we think is the best for you, then come to that upgrade uh, menu and that will explain which we think is the best. At this stage, the best thing to do is to reach out to Peter to say, hey, can you send me more information on this service? Uh, and he'll uh, shoot you through some information or can run it, run it, run you through it, or however you grammatize that. I think I've run through this. This is all the new content that you're getting um, within your Luminate base product beyond what you got with uh, your insights. Um, I think I've covered that already. I've covered searching too. So it's, uh, that's in the top right there. Ah, some interactivity unleashes benefits. So let me just see if I can, I'm not gonna be able to click that very easily. Um, panel market share, here we are, where are we? edge okay so topics manufacturers now what i'm doing now is just using a different browser this has got the interactivity license enabled and so for example i can come into let's do panel market share um because it's going to be most useful and i'll chuck that one up as well i'll come back to it so this does take a bit of a moment to load as all the data interactivity gets to display. But what we can start to do is start to hover over to reveal more information about certain data points. We can start to filter certain data points as well. So you can only see the brands that are of interest to you and see what their market share is, for example. And so taking this one as an example, if I wanted to combine, ah, what's the total share of premium panels in the last um uh month this is um and that's just for sample sake so it's those those are the three ones that i wanted to look at i can come and hover over those and i should see some more information on that appear uh on that combined group i can then also do things like right click on that sorry my brother's catching up and this looks like it's not doing so well in edge it's a bit slow but i can just keep that those companies um, and or i can download tables of information about that here i'm also able to download the information you see as an image for putting into my own presentation but interestingly if you want to do your own analysis then any chart that we have here you are able to then download the data as a cross tab and what that means is you can uh, essentially perform your own analysis of our charts. You can put them in your own viewing format if you want. Um, so that gets you as an Excel. This really becomes useful when you get to see some of these, uh, let's see these charts here. So for example, I'm going to come and uh, highlight the companies to see LG's market share over the period. This is on a quarterly basis. This is Hanwha Q cells, Hyundai, REC, SunPower. Um, and Phono, for example, I might have missed one, forgive me if I do. So there you can see, this is the market share on a quarterly basis of these companies. I can then go through and actually, uh, and I've showed you this in the other, um, if I come and keep only on those, if you just wanted to look at the quality segment of the market and see who's doing well in those, all of a sudden you now just have the analysis that shows you, well, Hanwha Q cells is capturing a uh, supposed 30%, sorry, 30 is capturing 30% of the supposed inverted commas quality um, market. No comment there on who's quality or, or whatever, not, no, no offense meant there, just saying this is a quick analysis. Um, and you can see that also reflected here in that premium market growing significantly from where it was compared to uh, the Chinese market, which was having some erosion there. Um, 
all sorts of other things. What else did I need to show you with interactivity? Let me remind myself, um, filter, download, hover over to reveal more information, click in legend, all good. The other thing I'll show you is that's what brings some of your existing stories to life. But then we're also able to come and show you a new, where is this? Invertipans personalization. Let's try that one. Uh, and the other one I wanted to show you was the retailer register. Not that. Looks like Edge is a bit slower than the other one. No, it's not the article I wanted to show you, but I can show you another example. This retailer register. So uh, one of the uh, things that we have done is identified all of the retailers and the, the products they're claiming to use, and then can put that into a dashboard for you. So it's not something we can put into a big slide deck, but as this loads, what you'll see we're able to do is to go and find the particular retailers that you're using uh, particular products. Now that can be useful uh, if you want to, for example, know who's using your product uh, and, and connect to them because some um, companies don't have that ability um, already, but you can also then go and find, ah, which are the retailers using my competitor's product? Maybe I'll go and try and win their business. Or I know that my product is coupled really well with Fronius. Let me go and find uh, in stores that are using Fronius that aren't using my product, for example. So let me come and say, uh, let's look at um, Canadian Solar here. And so here is the then the list of companies uh, with that are using those. And we can come and I believe if we click on this, then we should be able to call that company um, or visit their website based on the public information that's available on that company. And you can also come here and go, okay, I really just want to see those companies that are in Brisbane, oh, yeah, uh, Southeast Queensland here. Um, I'm going to select all of these uh, just around this area and make sure that when I do that, this list will update with all of those guys. And you can even download that as a PDF. So that's the interactivity function uh, that I wanted to, to show you. Um, I will also mention that the uh, extension of that market view service does allow you to view for your own company and for any other company, how your sales are distributed around the country in terms of your market share of each state. Distribution by size, this company is residential heavy compared to others. How loyal your customers are and what other products they're using in tandem with you and how those other products market share is going up and down within your installers portfolio. How your product is adopted by retailers, including people, uh, retailers that are using a lot of product, but very little of yours and come, uh, retailers that are using exclusively your, exclusively your product, but not doing a lot of volume and everyone in between. Whole range of different things, Pareto analysis, and then we've got the inverter loyalty characteristics you saw recently in Insights. And you can also see, hey, you're Fronius, you're often co uh, coupled with Canadian solar much more than other companies are uh, being coupled with Canadian solar. Hmm. Let's do a deal with Canadian solar, for example. All right, I think we are now into some information about, I think we've gone through all of that. If you've got any questions on those uh, add-ons, then please let us know. Uh, great. There you go, privacy issues. I know there's a comment there, Kathleen, it's all based on public information. So what they're claiming on the website is the key bit of information there rather than uh, uh, us knowing anything more about them than you do. We do know more about them than you do, but we aren't gonna share that information. We treat that as confidential. Um, that said, we've got a lot of clients. If you ever want an introduction, then, then name the client and we can um, connect you up. If you want to learn more, there is the uh, on your screen some information there that'll start you leading through the process. But if you want to dive deep into the upgrades and understanding it, then please reach out and we'll run you through them personally. Uh, there you go, no problem, uh, Peter. And uh, yeah, the question there on the the chat was uh, for the um, market share. The information we're using, as Peter said, there is STC aggregators, finance providers, and a number of different software uh, platforms. So that's that aspect of it. The retailer register itself is based on their public um, announcements of which product they use. If you want to chat, then um, book a consultation with Pete using his link. Perhaps, Pete, you can put it in the chat again. And I think you need to 
jump off to a call for about 10 minutes. He'll be back. So now we're going to run through how to gain and secure market share for your equipment brand. We're going to use LG as an example because it's interesting and poignant for, for everybody. Um, but this example can be run through for your company. And we're actually doing a service where if you buy one of the EU, uh, install and monitor reports from uh, Sunwiz and EUPD, then we're going to run you through this analysis for your brand as well, both dissecting the EUPD report and showing you the market view trends. So this is what we're going to run through using LG as an uh, example your past position, where you are now and which direction you're heading. How does that compare to your competitors and their trends? What are your strengths and weaknesses? What's your share of wallet? And the reason this is interesting is because some companies have a strategy of we'll deal with anyone and we end up having you know, lots and lots and lots of companies using us a very little versus a company such as Winaco um, where they have not so many people using their product, um, but the people who are using it use it almost exclusively. And so there's different market strategies that you can go through. We're also able to identify your churn rate. So how often retailers are using your product, but then dumping it um, or coming back to it. Uh, and then we're going to run through how your customers view and also how your customers view your channels to market. So meaning wholesalers. Uh, so for example, you may have the best product in the world people love, but if you're only running it through um, you know, wholesalers that uh, your end customers, the retailers don't like, then you might have a problem. So here we're looking at LG, we're taking some information from MarketView. In the most recent month, they got to 5% um, market share. Uh, recalling what it was from the previous chart, I think it was about 9% market share for the previous 12 months, uh, which placed them, I think, about fifth in terms of the market size. And I ran an analysis uh, the other day um, that showed that the combined market share of those premium brands, which we've run through, uh, was 33%. So quality is actually a interesting space. It's bigger than you think. So there is uh, the uh, market share evolving for uh, LG over recent months. Um, so it certainly has come down a, a way from where it used to be. Um, and as we saw before, there was some other examples here and I forget which one we've pulled up. Let me see, there was in my notes. So it's hard to see when you've only got on screen going. Here is the answer. There you go, REC and Phono was a third line down. Um, LG was a top line. One thing I do recall is that Hanwha Q cells has had significant gain in market share. You may have glimpsed that in the previous analysis that we showed you just then. Um, so again, I mentioned the evolution of that market share of the premium brands. And so they're certainly going up, but as are the other minor brands, basically if you're a leading Chinese panel manufacturer, your market share has come down. That may be due to the differential in price um, being slightly eroded uh, with um, product supply challenges from China. You guys may know better than me. So this is the analysis of of the retailers that we know are using LG, what other panels are they using and how is that trending? And so we looked at LG as saying, having 5% of the market, but of the retailers using their product, they've got 8% of, uh, of their market, if you like, um, that, that sub-market, their customers. But their customers are also using other products and how are they trending? And so we can see that there is an inverse correlation between uh, the market volumes of these three companies. Uh, and so you might therefore uh, be able to say and say, oh, they're substituting us with um, a different product in the same class, or they're substituting us more towards particular other classes. I'd like to know who that uh, person that leapt by that much in the portfolio is. Uh, and if you wanted to know who those companies were, I did mark them down. There you go, Trina and Jinko are uh, having the, the correlating effect. In this case, it may just be that this is um, something happening broader out there in the market, um, but it's interesting to see some of the, the dynamics that happen there, even when those companies are offering a quality product and a value product at the same time. Okay, so LG, had greater market share 
in New South Wales than they did have in other states, quite significantly. And there can be some reasons for that. And particularly, it's often that they have home base there or that they have stronger presence of distribution there. All of these things can weigh in, in factor into your strategy and also your competitors' strategy. So worth considering. Uh, strong presence also in uh, Queensland, but fairly low presence in uh, Victoria and South Australia. Interesting to note. Residential was where LG uh, had strongest uh, or greatest strength. And so what we see there is the, um, you, essentially your brand LG was 40% you know, of its volume is in that sort of residential space compared to when we look across all of our other brands that we're doing and combine them, then there seems to be a much more, you know, some greater commercial activity. You can understand that with a brand like LG. We do some Pareto analysis, and this can be helpful to understand how critically dependent upon uh, the key leading retailers um, a brand is, and whether the strategy is quite you know, diverse, long tail, um, or whether it's, it's quite concentrated, and concentrated can be good for your customers to service, uh, or it can be more vulnerable. That's up to you guys to decide, but you can run through each of these analyses for all the different companies and glean your own um, outcomes for this. Understanding who, which uh, companion products you're coupled with can help you in a couple of ways. One is, okay, well, let's do some co-branded marketing because when we see that LG panels are very strongly uh, coupled with Fronius, much more so than the rest of the market, then you go and say, well, let's work out some kind of partnership arrangement with Fronius compared to SunGrow, which is used significantly out there in the rest of the market, um, but less so in ours. You can understand with brands, inverted brands up there like uh, Fronius, uh, Enphase, um, SolarEdge and SMA being highly represented amongst LG that there is a strong coupling of the uh, quality and quality um, compared to uh, other, other couplings which you might uh, exist out there with like such as value and value. Here is the interesting chart for LG. So this chart shows, I'll explain it a bit more from before. So down this end or this quadrant you have, uh, let me see if I can annotate this for you guys a bit easier. So down this end, you have uh, installers that are doing significant volume, but very low percentage of your market, of your panel, but they're using it at least. Up this end, you have companies that are using you know, exclusively your product, but very low volume. And this is the each dot representing a solar retail that we have some information on anonymized. Uh, we, we won't tell you who they are, you, don't, you won't know either. Um, the other thing there is the, um, actually, I mean, these uh, retailers, we don't know who they are. They've just been given us an identifier. So this color code also shows what percentage of your market comes from each retailer. And you, so you can see this retailer in between. It uses LG for 30% uh, you know, of its installations. And it's doing, you know, let's say 10,000 uh, installations. This is an exact number. It's a scaled number. Uh, but anyway, this is a large company doing a lot of LG. Critically dependent upon this company, I would say LG is. In terms of market share, um, yeah, not much market share there. There are some other companies which represent significant fractions of its business. If you were a uh, trying to go and win business from LG, uh, you would want to know who is that leading company and how can I get them? Like that would be the one that you want to get most of all, right? Let me turn off that laser pointer and let's keep going. All right, we also have analysis of share of wallet. If there's any questions you've got as I go, please post them there. So this uh, by understanding each of these retailers uh, and which products they're using, we're able to identify what the share of wallet feature those retailers are and compare it with other brands. And what we find actually with LG is, is you know, fantastic brand recognition as it is and how much they supported their retailers and, and all of that, they actually had low share of wallet. So uh, retailers were using them occasionally a bit, bit here and there, et cetera. And this distribution is the uh, quarter distribution. So 75% uh, of their retailers were using their product for less than 40% of their installations is what this says. So, and there are some other quality brands in this chart that, that had much greater 
typical business a share of wallet, but also, um, you know, you see some of those uh, which have very, very high share of wallet. The next thing is that customer loyalty. So this chart shows um, what percentage of business across a 12 month period is from a returning customer versus a new customer versus a lapsing customer. And what this shows us is, is that LG actually had a very high uh, rate of returning customers, um, one of the more market leading ones. Uh, but uh, in terms of where it was headed, it was actually losing customers faster than it was keeping them. So a bit of churn there as well. And you can see variety there in um, which, which businesses have uh, more churn to have to deal with. Oops. Now we're looking at installer monitor. So this is the survey of over 200 installers and retailers of what their perception of, of these different companies is out there in the market. And the first chart we're showing is the unaided brand awareness. This is where, uh, what brand do you think of when you think of solar panels? LG came up third across people's first, second, third, fourth and fifth um, guesses or, or recollections, if you like. That's very strong brand awareness. What's interesting, if you, uh, despite the brand awareness, in terms of the number of installers actually purchasing for you, and this is a proxy for some of the other market share information we saw, it's, um, which I think is more robust, um, it was uh, you know, much, further, much further down the ranks than actually people aware of your brand, but they weren't buying from LG so much. And that does, there's a distinction here between um, solar installers, um, which are generally like a, a very specific um, solar retailing companies and your general installers, which might be your man and a van sparkies. This is another view uh, based on the survey data of the a degree of exclusiveness in retailers' portfolios. So uh, this chart shows that there were no exclusive uh, customers in that um, amongst the, the survey respondents for LG. Um, there were 20% of respondents or 19% where the proportion of LG product uh, there within their portfolio is more than 50%. Um, but most of, you know, over half of the customers that used LG were just using it as a space filler. So it's like less than 25% of their um, equipment they're putting through. And we saw that, saw that in the other data we showed you previously. There are quality companies which have much greater exclusiveness. I mentioned when ACO, uh, when I did the analysis the other day, 60, uh, their share of wallet was 60% um, for a typical business. So, and I think when, I can't remember if I did the um, installer monitor uh, analysis for them, but I think, for example, this uh, 15 and 14% were about, in terms of exclusiveness, were like companies such as um, SunPower and uh, QCells and REC. So it's possible to be quality and 100%. LG didn't quite get there. And part of the reason for this was a net promoter score. Um, the net promoter score was above average, but it wasn't as high. And I remember saying these, these actual top five companies were the top were the five quality companies. And LG was fourth of the fifth quality brands of solar panels. So... Um, you might be well known, but not necessarily well loved. And this leads us to say, okay, well, what can we do to improve? And the uh, survey asks uh, how satisfied you are and how much importance you place upon each of these different uh, categories and criteria um, in terms of output, manufacturing quality, price, guarantee conditions, local customer service, claims management, reliability of delivery information, short delivery periods, and, and overall satisfaction is the blended score. And the question there is, is, this is what helps you go and say, well, I've got all this data, what do I do to improve? It's like, well, this is the guideline that helps get you more greater customer satisfaction. This is what you need to be doing to get it um, over the line. Peter is back. Um, Kathleen asks, is this EUPD research? That's correct. So um, Sunwiz is uh, EUPD research's uh, partner in Australia for bringing this information to market. You can order through them or you can order through us. If you order through us, we'll run you through this analysis for your brand, as well as ever all, all the other ones within this report um, in conjunction with the market share um, information from market view, uh, which I believe you guys get already. So, but there's the personal one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation that you can have with us. 
So where LG did well, um, and we can when we looked through these, we ranked them in terms of uh, how well they do in output and quality, etc. Hey, price people aren't satisfied with that, but that's understandable. It's not a price-driven brand, but in overall, if you in terms of people were very satisfied with their quality of within that LG bracket, uh, and also very satisfied with guarantee conditions. Um, beyond, apart from price, the things that they uh, annoyed them most of all was the local customer service. Uh, other things they could have lifted their game with, on was short delivery periods uh, and also uh, claims management. So we also see that um, yeah, reliability of delivery information is about where people think is important. So it's not such a big deal for them, um, but uh, it, it'd be the next thing to look at. So if you think about your brand and think about where should you place your importance then uh, or place your efforts, this is a good guidepost. And if you're thinking about what was LG and how to win LG dealers, then you'd be looking at this and going and saying, well, actually I compare better than them on an LG on this particular um, aspect. I can demonstrate that to these retailers because this is what the, the, um, they and their friends have said about my brand and about LG brand and say, come, come to me because clearly we're going to make you happier than LG did. As an example of things you could do. Um, worth noting, of course, that uh, I had a, a chat with, um, with LG with Gus the other day and he said, hey, they're still around. They're still... Uh, got uh, stock there available both for warranty claims and but also for fulfilling um, existing orders so it's not to say that we want to encourage vultures swooping on their brand but there's certainly a lot of uh, retailers out there we hosted a webinar um, two days ago at short notice had uh, 280 uh, people register for it and over half show up um, and people are really crying out for well, we've got to replace this, this brand, who do we replace it with? So uh, this is a good way of winning business. All right, so what else you can do? So you can also then go and look at your wholesale distribution channels and say, okay, um, this uh, install and monitor product uh, also gives you information on uh, rankings of brand awareness and you know how people how happy out people are with each of these different criteria for each of the um, uh, wholesalers and so you can then go and say well you know am I aligned with the right wholesaler etc so uh, that is useful and of course you can subscribe to market view to get uh, that um, information on market share and the changes in market share and loyalty characteristics and all that sort of stuff on a regular basis, because uh, if there's one thing we know about the solar industry, it's that it changes uh, each and month. If you if you want to learn more about that, I got a big smile from there from Peter, who's um, been in the industry for um, uh, I think almost as long as I have, and worked uh, for manufacturers, wholesalers, uh, retailers, and and even service providers. Is uh, is an experienced grin there? I think. <laughs> right. Um, so if you want to learn more, that is uh, Market View. It's available on the. Um, uh, Luminate or the Rocket platform and subscribing to this gets you a, an interactive license as well um, for one of your users. If you want to learn more about Installer Monitor, that's the uh, link for you there. I think the link will automatically direct you to the most recent one. Uh, and the offer for uh, this run through that you get with me through the Installer Monitor plus your market view, even if you're not a subscriber, um, on your brand and your competitors' brands is available. That run through is available uh, for, I think it's two weeks. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Peter. So if you wanna get that, get onto it quickly. Um, if you, oh, there's, that, there's that special offer um, and that booking link if you haven't already got it. Um, and I wrote this just out of interest. Um, you, it, the EUPD uh, installer monitor is the playbook for the solar industry. It tells you what to do to improve. Market, tells, market view tells you everything you need to know how to execute and stay on top. Uh, so there's a the combined power of both. So there we go. I see there's a couple of chats. Thank you, Pete, for putting that in there. It's also worth noting, I am working feverishly on the uh, battery market report. Um, I just thought I'd share a bit of a tidbit of information with you that is pre-release. Actually, I'm not, I won't, it needs to be approval, but I'll give you some stats. Um, 
correlation of batteries with electric vehicles based on uh, some solar Victoria subsidies that exist for both. Um, and it's showing that a survey said that people who took up the um, solar Victoria rebate for zero emission vehicles, 54% um, of them had solar on their roof. So EVs are strongly related with, with solar energy. Uh, and so question mark, what can you do to take advantage of that trend as it will emerge? Um, that's certainly higher than the, the um, market penetration of solar as a whole. Um, in terms of batteries, 9% uh, of respondents um, that had EVs also had PV and batteries. And so uh, that's also above average. It shows you there's some market early adopters, but also doesn't says to me, we're not quite at that point where um, people have seen that these, uh, you need to have a home energy storage system if you've got a, an EV. Peter, um, uh, if, have I missed anything in amongst all of that that you think is important to that people will know? Uh, no, look, I think you've covered it, but uh, the EUPD is, is valid and, and it's hot off the press. So, you know, uh, the, the data in that becomes uh, irrelevant as we um, throughout the year. So uh, it's released annually. So I stress uh, that you do look into it. Uh, there's no real good metrics out there in the industry that really get uh, that sort of data that we're seeing from the EUPD. So uh, install the ripping. So strongly suggest we look at it and yeah, look happy to uh, delve into it in a one-on-one -on -one call and feel yeah. good for it. Uh, I think uh, someone related to me like this is that um, it's of course you go and speak with your customers and get their opinion on you yeah but they you never get a fully unbiased uh, opinion they've got a relationship with you they don't want to piss you off etc so they're not going to tell you the full honest truth except for a few of them like um, Mark Kavanagh presumably um, <laughs> yeah a knowing grin there the um, however you don't often get to hear uh, ask your competitors, customers, the same questions, right? So you're getting this feedback, which is in, incomplete and it's in a bit of a vacuum. And so this is where having that independent analysis and questions and done, done for you professionally is really, really helpful. Uh, so you know, I think it's a top, top of report. That's why we're partners with it. Um, there's some overlapping information between what we provide and we've got some more granular sort of information, but for that, um, um, purpose of going and saying, oh, here's where I currently am. Uh, I know these are the trends. I need to be moving ahead of the trends. How do I get there? It's like, well, this is the playbook you need to execute for your company. Look, if anything, it substantiates what you're probably feeling and hearing or if not, uh, what you're not observing on what's going on in the market. So it's fairly dynamic. So Great. Thanks, Kathleen. Thanks for your questions. Look, uh, are, there, are there any other questions? Uh, I'll give the opportunity for you guys to ask them now. And I'll just let people uh, clatter away on their keyboard as well. Uh, this uh, will be recorded, so, so if you want to share it with your colleagues, then please do. It's also worth noting that this transition from insights delivery mechanism uh, to Luminate is happening this month. So you should have already received um, the you know, early month release. So the release that occurs early in the month uh, via your old subscription manager link. Uh, in For the second parts of those releases, we will be uh, sending a notification that they are available on the Luminate platform and provide you those links to those uh, stories that have been updated. So uh, if you are sitting there thinking, oh, I'll get round to this one day, um, it is uh, really going to be important that you go through that sign-in login process, et cetera, so that when it comes time that you really, really, really need that market intel, then it's available at your fingertips at that moment. So uh, I don't see any other questions there. I'm going to assume that that is um, everything answered and uh, look forward to uh, helping your business to grow. Ultimately, that's what this is about. That's why I do this is providing information for you guys to make strategic decisions that makes your business operate better, uh, makes you more competitive and basically makes the whole solar industry to be able to decarbonize our energy supply in Australia as fast as possible. Uh, we've got a long, long way still ahead of us, but it's great to see the success that we're having already um, and some big announcements with uh, coal-fired shutdowns happening. Um, 
uh, I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, Pete, anything else to add? No, thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Catch you later.